Hey guys, I'm Kim with KimberlyAnnHimenez.com and today we're going to continue our Pinterest video series. So this video um, is specifically tailored towards uh, business owners who are seeking to increase um, their marketing on Pinterest. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you a couple of content ideas or content tips to guide you through creating really great content on Pinterest. So the very first strategy I have for you, or the very first tip I have for you, is to tell your story. Tell your business story. Where you came from, how you founded your business, where you're at right now, and where you're going. Accurately portray what you're all about and do it visually. And though that might be a little bit of a challenge, I want you to really think about this and capture awesome moments in your business and pin them. It's really simple. It's not very complicated. You don't have to sit down and brainstorm for hours. Just be yourself and let your business's personality shine through because in essence, that is exactly what we want to do in social media. So. I was thinking of a person who does this incredibly well, and that is my dear friend Alicia Keys. We're not really friends, I just really like her. But Alicia recently joined Pinterest, and this was a couple weeks ago, um, I want to say maybe one or two months, and her marketing people did some awesome, awesome stuff you know, with Pinterest. So what they did is that to tell Alicia Keys' story, um, they actually created Pinterest boards that portray each one of her songs or her albums. So here they are, um, and there's, you know, all her songs or, or her famous songs are on here. And then, you know, they created pins or just repinned pins on these boards that describe the song. So this is really, really cool. It's called When It's All Over. Um, and there's different images on here. If we go back, um, and you see it's listen to your heart. You know, she has a whole bunch of different images that talk about the heart, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it's really, really great technique to kind of tell your story in an animated and, and visual way. That's what I want I want you to do. So the next um, strategy that we have is a lot of business owners just repin content. And while there's nothing wrong with repinning content, content and we want you to do that, I also want you to create your own content. So create relevant content, content that is unique and creative and yours. And it's really not complicated to do this. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you some really great tools that you can use to create your own content. You don't need to be a designer um, or have all this crazy equipment. So. The next thing I want you to do is actually to create a watermark on your images. So I found this specific pen and I really, really liked it just because it's kind of a tutorial and it's linking to a blog, which I'm going to show you how to do in, in the next video, which is kind of more advanced techniques. But right here you can see how they actually added, really cool, they just added a small little bar that has their logo and a call to action that says repin. So it's really simple stuff, you know, it's not rocket science, and I want you to see it up close right there. It's really, really simple, but, you know, this really goes a long way because it's a very clever way to advertise your business, and, you know, it's, it's something that I want you guys to do. Alright, so I'm going to give you a couple tools. Um, that you can use. You don't need Photoshop or any kind of crazy software um, to be able to do this. Though, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's not going to be something that's going to take hours and hours and hours to do. And you can actually separate separate some, you know, just time um, at the beginning of the month and crank out, you know, 10, 15 um, images that have your, your logo on it. I mean, you don't have to do this for every image. I'm just saying now and then it's really good to have, you know, a custom image that has your logo and a call to action or your website, something like that. So we'll add a watermark. 
All right, so the next one is pin with your client in mind. So if you're a retail business, make sure that you take really high quality images of your products, um, or if you're in the service business, do the exact same thing. Now, if you see this great example right here, this is a retail business, and you know she has purses, or he has purses, I'm not exactly sure, but the purse is really well positioned in the image. It's clear, it's bright, um, it's high def, and it actually is placed in a position where you can actually um, see the whole thing. So it, the purse isn't lying on a flat surface is kind of what, I, what I'm trying to say. So you are able to actually capture your product's features. So you know, make sure that your images aren't blurry or you know, just dark. Make sure that they accurately portray your products. So this is a great way to you know, post with your client in mind because you want to be able to entice them visually and you, know, you want to show them exactly what the product looks like. So another great example here is an ice cream shop and they just took this kind of fun picture I think the caption said something like um, edible sprinkle gold stars or something like that but it's really cute it's something different it's very creative and people will repin this image like crazy just because it's it's original content so just think about what your clients want to see kind of get in their head um, and figure out some great content plan it out make sure that you have you know your iPhone camera um, on hand so that you can capture these great moments in, in your business anyway so the next one that I want to show you is to actually add um, a price tag to your products so if you want to upload a pin right um, and you want to add a product or a service and you actually want to add the price tag you can do that so let's say that you are in the business of selling um, electronics phones or accessories something like that and you want to pin your products of course so what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload the image and you're gonna type the dollar sign and then whatever the price of the product is. So let's say it's $75.99, right? Automatically Pinterest will actually um, place a price tag on it. You can see it right here, right there. And that's awesome because it'll automatically categorize it in the gift section. So people know that this item is for sale. So this is a great way to do it. And if if you are a service, you can still do this. Take a cool picture of yourself, take a cool, cool picture of yourself helping another client, and add some text to it so that people know that this is a service that you're selling. And don't be afraid to be salesy on social media. It's okay as long as you do it with tact, with a love, and in a strategic way. So if you're not being salesy all the time, that's that's awesome because your clients, your ideal clients actually want to buy from you. You are a business, so it's okay to, you know, sell your products and, and be very blunt about it. All right, so the next, um, I guess, little strategy I have for you is to make sure that whenever you are pinning an image that you're actually, actually adding um, a URL to it so that when people click on the image, so let's see, let, let's see if this is a good example. When people click on the image, it actually will take you to the website where, see, here it is, perfect, where this image came from. So this image is being linked directly to a URL. And so here we have this awesome necklace. It's been on Pinterest, but when you click on the image, it takes you to the sales page, and you're able to buy this necklace. So that is something that you want to do, not only with the products and services that you add um, a price tag to, but also to the images that are linked to your blog or your website. You want to be able to add a URL, and that's really simple to do. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. What you do is, let's say you have a pin, you'll go back to your main Pinterest, and we're going to select a random board. All right, let's see these pins. And if these pins are original content, if they're yours, right, let's say this is one of mine, that's not a very good example, but we're going to check it out. Okay, so if you click on edit, 
you can see the description and you can edit it right there and then see where it says link just add your website so this is my web address right and you can just click save and when you do that it'll automatically save it and now when I click on it it's going to send me back to my website so that's a great way to send people from Pinterest to your website which is basically in essence traffic referral alright so that is the last of my strategies for today we're out of time um, and I hope you found these strategies really helpful that you actually like them make sure that if you enjoyed this video um, you can share it with your friends like it subscribe to my channel visit me on my blog and ask any questions that you might have don't forget to watch the next video where I will share with you advanced Pinterest strategies have a great night